If you're an SMA owner in 2022, here is how to price your social media marketing shares so that you can streamline your sales process, have a higher LTV, and have an Ascension program that is going to have a high upsell take rate because you're able to get people in at a lower price point. I know so many agency owners right now who are charging four or five K a month. They can't convert people on cold trap because they have nothing to introduce their ecosystem into to have a high LTV. And everybody always says to me, high ticket, high ticket, high ticket. Listen, if you have a lower ticket program where people can enter your ecosystem, you're going to have more touch, more reach and impact more lives than just trying to sell this four to 5K thing. And that's why I make more money than most agencies because all they want to do is make a quick buck. I want to get people in at a lower price point, prove my worth, prove my trust and credibility, and then upsell them into something far greater. So what I do is this, right? I have a $1,500 program. It's called my startup program that I get people into, right? It's for business owners who have not touched paid ads that much, haven't spent a lot of money, are tired of getting charged two, three, four, five K a month from ad agencies. They can't find an ad agency that's gonna give them the support they need. That's why most of the fulfillment that I have for this program is in-house. We have an office in Daytona Beach where we have people in-house who are trained by me, who are vetted by me, who are obviously, you know, good at ads, uh, the copy, the funnels, systems, automations, Shopify stores, scaling, the apps, you know, having the systems so that you can scale and at least touch a foundation that is a proven concept. The problem with charging people three, four, five K a month is you're only attracting business owners who make a lot of money. Not everybody does. Even if business owners do make a lot of money, some of them aren't even willing to spend that kind of money. So you have to have that lower tiered thing where you could build their trust for three months. After three months, you say, hey, listen, you're getting results go to the higher tier program now you can ascend and what is that going to do the upsell take rate on that is going to be so much higher now you're going to have a higher ltv because now you're getting six months out of the buyer instead of just three months at a lower price point i built more trust i have six months now i'm getting a higher retention i have six months now i'm getting more referrals from that person who went from a lower tier program to ascend and when I ask them for referrals, they're gonna to go to the lower one. Now I get six months LTV on the next person. If you're actually a good agency owner, you have good fulfillment, then you can send people into the next program. The upsell take rates are higher because if you just start pitching a four to five K on the phone right away as your front end, you're gonna have lower conversion rates, more friction, you can spend less on ads, and you never have a predictable system to get people in your ecosystem. Okay, that is the biggest pain point that I see every agency owner go through. And that's why agency owners are now niching down. They're trying to charge more just for this one niche. You can't scale. You're not going to be able to spend enough money on ad spend and virtual VAs and cold outreach to get these people in your ecosystem without a shitload of case studies. And also what you can't do is you can't help other people who are their referrals. Okay, because if you can't, like, for example, I know a bunch of people who niche down, right? They do home services, they do painting contractors, they can't help more than one business in the area. Well, what if two business owners are friends and they're in the same area and they're actually competitors, but they're friends? You can't fucking help them because you got this exclusion on your product ladder. You can't help that client out because you didn't go broad enough. I always go broad. I want to help as many people as possible. I want to touch as many people as possible. I want to have less friction in my sales process and streamline things, right? And I don't really care about the fulfillment because if you want to have maybe a five to ten percent less margin every single month to hire enough people to fulfill different niches, then do so. You have more reach. You can touch more audiences. You can have more referrals. You can ultimately make more money. So you get them in for this fifteen hundred dollars a month, and then you go for three months, right? And if you are a beginning agency owner, that's good margin still for you because you got to learn different niches and verticals. The more things you learn from different niches and verticals, the more results you can bring at scale. The more SOPs you can build at scale, the more retention you can build at scale because you can build those skill sets. And I talk about that in my video about advice to 20 year old entrepreneurs is just having more skill sets, being able to look at any niche and be like, I can scale that. Not just being like, I only know credit repair. I only know credit repair. I only know credit repair. No. Touch multiple niches and verticals. You're going to learn a lot more and you can build more client relationships and you can sell more, make more money. Stop trying to niche down. I do not believe in that. Um, so then you get the people in the three month program. You're providing landing pages. You're providing the copy. You know, you're not doing email and SMS, but you're providing, you know, their ad management, creative video editing, the simple ad management and content strategy to get them, at least get them touching results and having a foundation of a proven concept, help them build their offer, their landing pages, their ads. And the back end is more for the VIP, you know, the higher ascending program. That's where you can do email, SMS, app, your automations, you know, helping them hire talent, helping them you know, get sales reps, helping them build good SOPs and a sales process to scale more. And that's the two differences between those two programs. 
And that's what I firmly believe in pricing your SMA services in 2022. So you can scale more, have better ascension, and ultimately make more money. So I hope you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, please like, comment, and subscribe. It is free down below. You get the subscribe button. And I hope to see you guys in the next video. Peace.